Do you see this space server? Well, status code is a game where you can hack and slash your own space server. And then you get fired. Welcome to the Indie Game Playtesting series. I'm playing games you've probably never heard about to help developers get feedback. Being a game developer myself, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the game design as we go. So let's begin. Status Code is a turn-based strategy game created for a GS13K game jam. This game jam requires a game to have a size smaller than 13 kilobytes. Like, basically this game doesn't even have a music, so I will have to turn on something that I like. Like this. And let's begin. Your machine is connected to the cloud, a system of in interconnected servers that speak with each other. Click anywhere to continue. And I already tried running this game and one issue I had is that there is probably a text box here that you can click. But if you click somewhere too far away, it will not register a click. So the window is probably this big. The issue with that is that everything is black, so you don't really see where it ends. Normally, users of the cloud are free to visit any server that they wish, but something has gone wrong. The server's antivirus software has gone rogue and is preventing connection attempts by responding erroneously with the 404 not found status code. Attempt to establish a connection to these servers, eradicate the rogue programs and return them to the network with the 200 OK status. We basically have four levels. This probably don't work, okay. Let's start from the beginning. This IP address is uh, localhost, <laughs> so it doesn't really make any sense because it can't be the cloud. It's our own computer unless we have some redirection from the local host to some other address. But usually it's the address of your local machine server. Establishing connection to local host, basically. Okay. Warning! Shield OS has detected hostile connection attempt. Deploying virus control programs. Click anywhere to hack past the rogue pro virus control programs. Hack and slash. Okay. Can I move? I wonder if it means anything when we leave a trail. Can we go back? We can't. Okay, so... It will be... Something we need to keep in mind for the future. We also have one action. I wonder what 2 means. Is it a damage or... Or it's remaining usages of this. Also, I don't know what size means. Maybe it's like a hit points. Connection attempt succeeded. This server is now 200 OK status. Connection to the cloud has been re-established. Even though it's a local host. And turn to return to the cloud. And now it's green. Okay. Okay. They have only one move. They have some size. What what does it even mean? I see the size is decreased is decreasing here. I have no idea what does it mean exactly.
Oh. It's not dead. Huh. So the size is probably a hit points. Let me start again. I, I want to make sure that I understand the mechanics. Size is one. Do we have a regeneration here? Both of them are one out of three. So if I attack before, uh, well, I can get there in time anyway. Oh, every time we step somewhere, we have a size. So now I have a size of three. That's all the spaces that were consumed by this unit. Okay, I got it. It probably does two damage. And they do two damage as well. We can add on. And we reclaim the territory. Interesting. We can kill them right away. That's an interesting mechanic. Although this game doesn't have any tutorial and it doesn't explain you anything, but since it's a game jam, they probably got out of time before making a tutorial. That's the normal case with these games. Okay, so we have ranged attack here. Only one move. And the range is quite limited too. Mm. Can we attack these spaces? I don't know. It looks like I can still have my action focused when I end the turn. This is probably a bug. The game should deselect everything when you end the turn. I still can't get there. But we have a lot of HP here and they only deal one damage. It's also hard to understand what exactly do they do with their turn. Some animations or text logs would be useful here. But I guess that they came here... Oh wait. Um, do they cut off everything if they attack here? This could be the case because I have three. Or they deal just more than one damage and that's the case. Then I, I, I'm not sure why this one is still alive, if they could do poor damage. We'll have to understand these mechanics better at some point. And I want to, to make two moves here. This one will... Huh. Do I still have any moves after I attack? No. After you do the attack, you can't move. Okay. Um... Wow, this is really painful. I wonder how exactly they did that. Let's try again. Or maybe I need to try the different level. Wait, wait for me. 
Um, let's see how it works. Uh, if I attack here, what will happen? They have three hit points. So I can attack any point of their influence and deal as much damage as indicated there. It's not enough to cut them from the path to kill them completely. Oh, escape doesn't work either. But probably because it's a browser and it intercepts the action. Okay, let's try the third level again. <laughs> the problem with the ping is that the range is not really good and I'm afraid of this thing attacking it if I move closer, but we probably want, it, want to use it to attack incoming enemies. So let's move it at least a little bit. Hmm. Or you know what? That was a mistake from me. Since it's almost the same here, maybe we can go this direction. Oh, we can't go to the same area. Huh. And we can't outrun this enemy. It has the same speed. I'm not even sure that it makes any sense to attack those. Maybe, maybe. Since they're not moving and they can't attack us from there, we can try doing camping here. But if I go like this, they will have an angle to attack me without me being able to retaliate. So maybe I can stand here. Now. Unfortunately, this one is too far away. Damn. Okay, so this unit is in danger, but I can move. Also... Take this. They have quite a lot of health. They can kill our archer, but that's probably not changing anything. Or does it? Can we out damage them? I'm not sure. Now they probably will do two turns every time. Yeah, okay, let's restart. We need some extra damage, otherwise they will just go like this all the time. But defending in the beginning looks like a good tactic here. But maybe I don't want the archers to be that far. Let me see. Man, that's not enough. This range is not good enough. I am tempted to attack this enemy. Okay.
They have free health, we can finish them off. And go for this eye. Or it's called sentry, okay. This sentry is down. Nice. Who? This one was much harder than the second level. I wonder if this uh, mistake and there should be a server, not serve. So they have the bash ability. And they can have a lot of health. <laughs> they also have free moves. That's a lot. Three moves. Do we have a ranged advantage? I'm not sure. Even though they're far away from each other, they have two moves. And this enemy will get a lot of health when going to us. It can heal up to three damage every turn. And we have four damage combined. Sling only attacks in four directions. There are no diagonals. Oh, what the... What did I do? I can attack my own troops? Oops. Let me try again. That's the wrong level. Sling? I definitely can. So, this is the strategy game where you can attack your own troops. Okay. I mean, it's not so unusual, but that wasn't something I was expecting. I wonder if there is any use for that, <laughs> realistically. I guess you can clear a path if you want to get somewhere, if your unit trail is blocking you. How do I deal with this? Uh, let's just try and see how it goes, okay? I'm thinking too much even for a start. Nice. We get annihilated. And again, because there is no animation and everything is in, happens in instant, it's hard to understand what exactly did, ha did happen. Gotcha. Whew, that's a lot of health to deal with. And I think we're losing our sling here. And that's a game over for us. So I guess I lost this match. Because I, I underestimated. 
this thing. And we can't go back. Let's let them win the game. Oh, wait. They didn't decide to attack? I think they could. Huh. They could destroy this unit. But well... If you don't want to attack... I'll take it. They do want to attack now. Let's try to block them. Doesn't matter where I shoot anyway. Basically, it's a race now. We deal one more damage than they can heal. I can't move. I will be unable to attack in this case. Ah! I got distracted, or I was too relaxed. Okay. It's probably not the good idea to let them be as big at this point. We need to deal with them faster. Those are not a big deal. Only up to two health. That's... That's not a big issue. So let's focus on this guy. Even if it's so tempting to take this enemy. Ah. Oh. But maybe we can take out one of them and then focus on this guy. Let's see. Now, you shouldn't be able to attack us, but we should be able to deal with this enemy faster. Uh -huh. Oh man, you're so, so annoying. Like, they know to avoid the damage here. Well, I think it's safe to take one of them. One, two, three. But we can we escape now? I don't think so, they're too fast. And I can't attack from this spot. Ah, oh, this is another losing state. Okay, any delay with them is really dangerous. So let's not do that. Let's just attack head on. Down with your bullshit. Ugh. Damn. We can't survive this. This is probably a good tactic anyway. We just need to be... A bit more careful, maybe. Oh, damn. Yeah, did I make two turns? Oh, they have two moves. Okay, so they moved two squares and they were attacking me. Okay, good. So I can attack from this angle. And from this angle as well. 
but I will lose the unit next turn. No? Oh, I thought they, they would attack at the same time. Never mind then. Oh, damn, not enough range. Oh, okay. I can kill you right away. Boom. That wasn't too bad. Come great zone. New enemies. Tripwire. Cursor. Wow, it can click anywhere. Huh. It's not the biggest issue, only one damage, but they can kill any unit that has only one health. And guess what? I don't think that thing can get out. They're going down. Probably, because, look, they will attack it with a cursor. They can't survive. Uh, I can't really do anything to that. Probably. Well, I guess I can attack the friendly unit and clear a spot without killing them. But then, after attacking, you're wasting your turn and you can't move there anyway. Right? Am I right? Let me try. Yeah, you don't have any moves after that. So it's not... Sorry, the wrong level. You don't have any ability to save your... Your ping. So let's not think about that too much. These guys, they don't move. And they act like a trap. So we have only one safe spot here. Or we can move two spaces away. Which we will do with this unit. Wait. They can move, no? They, they can't move. They, they shouldn't be able to. I was here, if I remember correctly. Wait. I miscalculated something, sorry. They can't attack here. This one can't attack it here too. Bash shouldn't be an issue. Clicking shouldn't kill you. So what, what did happen there? I'm not sure I follow. Aha. Uh -huh. They definitely can't move, and they were not moving. Okay, let's not go there, then. Well... They decided to attack this unit instead of that? Well, that's their call. I don't mind that. I still can't go anywhere, probably. Huh. <sighs> I'm still not sure what kills us if we go here. So... Wait, I accidentally finished my turn. Sorry. I'm actually not pretty sure what to do here.
What are the other places to go? This should be safe, right? Oh, I got it now. I got it. They can attack the trail. They don't have to attack your unit. Ugh. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. They also deal two damage. That's a lot. But at least now I understand it better. Okay, so... We are not winning because we will lose this unit because of the clicker and the shield guy. Yeah. And now we don't have enough power to win the battle. But you know what? We can take one attack from them. We just don't we, we don't want to be attacked by two of them. Oh, no. They will combine the damage. They will both attack us, and there will be not enough health to survive that. They did destroy the other unit, though it wasn't the same if I would go like this. Oh, I guess their actions are randomized. Let me see. Yes, it is randomized. Damn, misclicked. <laughs> no! Ruined everything. Probably. Or, or maybe not. Do I want to go suicidal here and destroy one of them? Uh, it will be under attack anyway. If I go here, I can't defeat it, d defend it from this guy. And I can't kill it in one turn. But if we destroy this, can they defend themselves against this one? I don't know. Let's see. This would be more efficient. But this is the only guy that can regenerate health. Okay, so... Well, first off... Get fucked. So how is your one damage working out? This was a tactic that started from a mistake, a misclick. And some luck, because they randomized. Crash. Oh my god, free damage. So th this is basically our version of that other enemy that was called Firewall. <clears throat> Okay. Flop.
they can eat us faster. Oh no, we have the same speed, right? They have only two moves. But we need to get this unit somewhere closer. Like this. This level was pretty easy in comparison with the previous level. Government sanitation clean. Com maze XYZ. Three moves. Good attack. But very limited health. A lot of trap enemies. And sentries. I don't like that this level requires you to memorize all the grids where you're safe and you're not safe. They don't move anywhere, am I right? Oh, we were killed by this one. This level is not symmetric. I thought it was. That was my mistake. Three moves. Oh, the trail gets erased after you exceeded your capacity. Oh, this is somewhere where I'm invincible. I can wait here for as much as I want. Bam. Okay, I got destroyed by this. We shouldn't be attacked by these enemies at all. Got it. Okay. And we don't want to be attacked by two of these either. Can I do this? I definitely can. So this is a victory. Sometimes it's hard to understand if you finish your turn or not, because there is no any indication and there enemies are not moving, you can't tell if it's the same turn or not. And maybe there should be some effect that the turn has ended, or some delay before you can end your turn. Because right now it's easy to press and turn twice or so. Just because you're not noticing, you're not noticing that the turn has ended. So the boss level, boss level at API. Ooh, okay, we have a new enemy, boss. Not too scary. It's more like I don't want this guy to become too too strong. The more units you have, the harder it to manage them 
in a good way without wasting the potential so I will try to do something well well wait okay I think there is an issue with the uh, layout there because if I select the unit I can't end the turn this is probably because the level has more vertical gr grid cells it's it's bigger than the previous level, so the buttons are not fitting in. And if I select a unit, it goes down, and I can't press enter. But okay, I can press it if I deselect the unit. Let's do that. So I want to attack this unit be before it gets too big. And I will do this in the sneaky way. Now, I want this to become bigger, so like a snake. I will go through the level and just tank the damage. This unit needs to get closer to be efficient, so let's do that. I'm not sure you're even viable here, but okay. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. I'm not sure they can survive. But I mean, one damage is not worthwhile anyway. Okay, let me think, let me think. Oh, too bad. Are fissures as dangerous? Well, I guess so. The slink can only attack this enemy. There is no other option. So that's decided. There is one extra damage that I can do. Well, basically only to this guy. This is also not very convenient to say... Are these health... Or, I mean... Basically I can tell that this is this guy. But it can look confusing. Mm. So health. One, two, three. Yeah, we can destroy this. And then attack that. But we can't kill it. We can't. We could kill it if I would attack with this unit. But I thought one damage would not be enough to do this. Okay, let's live with our mistakes. That was a price. My mistake. Probably want you to move here and attack. Now, this boss can't move because of the friendly unit. So I will use this time to move my sling closer. Although I could attack from behind with this unit. So I will move it in, in, into position. Yes. This is basically what I wanted. They can still go back and try to attack it. But they can't ignore this father either. Okay, I can destroy the boss right now, I think. Okay, this enemy unit can't stop us. There is no way. Like, go and try. I can't see anything. Eh, there is probably a text that says that end the turn and you will win, but it's below the screen. If I exit the full screen mode, I will probably see it, but I don't want to do this. Sorry. 
click the server to attempt to establish a connection, but we got all of them green. I thought there could be a credit screen or something else here, but probably not. I don't see anything. Okay, so let's consider that we completed this game. I kind of enjoyed this game. I like the strategy games. I not as a big fan of turn-based strategy games because they expect you to give a better understanding of the situation because you have all of the time in the universe and I don't want to use that time. I, I want to use my time for something else too. But if it's not too hard, like this game, I can enjoy it. The real-time strategies sometimes also are very demanding, especially if it's a cyber sport thing, like a StarCraft 2 or even first one. They require you to click a lot, but for a normal player, when you're not playing against the player, you basically can make a lot of mistakes and you're, don't, you're not required to be as fast as you could be. But that's just my preference. As for this game, I, I think it requires a better layout. I, I guess the there is an aesthetic here of the black screen and the terminal-like interface, but still, you could have this this separation bar somewhere here just to make sure that the non-playable screen is separated. It could be something like a screen that or the monitor that contains the screen of the terminal. Or you can make the game centered so it's in the center. But I guess they're going for the feel of the terminal that writes from the left to right line by line. So from this point of view it makes sense, but still, if it would be in the center, it would be more convenient for you. Although the game has vertical space issues as it is right now, like in this level, when we don't have enough vertical space to display the, this part of the screen. But again, you have some space in the right, so why not drawing this information here, since we have more horizontal space than vertical space. I guess that's one decision I would make for this game if I was designing it. Maybe there are some limitations why they can't display it here. But I would say it would be more convenient to have this information here, so we can avoid this situation with buttons not being visible or the text being under the screen. Maybe this game was tested on the different layout of the display, but I mean playing it on the standard laptop dis I mean resolution. So the game should probably be adjusted for that too, since it's one of the most popular resolutions. And it's just more safe to use horizontal space almost all the time, because you barely see any monitor that has more vertical space than horizontal space. As for the game, I like the variety of the units. Although the boss is probably a lackluster, I was expecting a little bit more challenge here. But again, the games like this really require a lot of balancing and testing. For the jam game, this is really good. This is enjoyable and interesting. I also like that it's kind of asymmetric, in a sense that you, your units are always different from the units of the enemy. So even if you have similar units like Firewall and Space Server, they're different. The enemy unit is more powerful. <laughs> As you can see here. The AI is also not very bad. They do sometimes feel like they're not using the best move, but at least they're not giving up. If they can survive and uh, outlive our damage, they're doing this. Even though this game has a lot of aesthetic of hacking, I think it's only visual and the text flavor, like the name of the level or the description and the intro text, but the gameplay itself, it's like a turn-based strategy game where you have units with different attacks and movements. Well, we not, don't even have any movement mechanics here. You always move in four directions. There are no diagonal movements for any units. And my, my other complaint is about the game turns being instant. When I press somewhere, it doesn't show that the enemy moves in the real time. It's just instance. Also, when I pressing the end turn and the enemy doesn't do anything, 
it's really easy to press it a lot without doing anything. And it can be confusing sometimes, because you don't want to spend too much extra turns in the game like this. Mostly because sometimes in the end of the game you can have a screen that mentions how many turns you use for every level, and there could be an optimal set of levels, like par in the gold games. For instance, finish this level in four turns to get gold level. And players basically don't want to play suboptimally when they can play better, just because the interface is not cooperating with them. This was the the status code game from the game jam that required you to create a game in 13 kilobytes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's see again when I will play some different game. Bye.